Hello everybody, how are you? I hope everything is well with you. This week we had a great week. We were working hard in the house to clean some things and to move some things and I did some painting and so we were proactive this week but we also rest well because it's holiday, right? Okay, today as you can see on the whiteboard we are going to talk about God's message that is for everyone. Now you know when mommy's phone makes ding or other sounds, you know a message came through. God also has a message for us, but that message we cannot keep for ourselves. We have to share that message. Do you know what that message is? Do you know what that message is called? Yes, that message is called the gospel. Okay? And very often we are very shy to bring the gospel to people. But we shouldn't be shy to bring the gospel. But if we are shy, we can ask God to help us with our confidence to bring the message. And how do we bring the gospel message? Through prayer, we pray, we listen, and we obey what God tells us to do. Now, in God's word, he tells us what to do. We just can read that, okay? And that's why in our church last Sunday, can you remember we had some uh, uh, messengers talking, missionaries talking over the TV with, to us about what they are doing. Um, and they are the people that we, our church is supporting. Okay, now there are a lot of missionaries going into the world and giving the message to the people. And so what we can do is we can pray for them. We can pray for the people that goes to North America. Can you see my world map? Yes, we can pray for the people that goes to North America, to South America, to Africa, to Europe, to Asia, and to Australia. And all of them go to bring God's message and we can pray for them. Oh, let me see. I hear something. I think I hear a knock. Do you hear the knock? It's somebody. Let me see. Oh, hi, Casper. How are you? Welcome. Did you bring your message for us? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you did? Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Casper. Welcome. I'm the special messenger today. And I have to read this very difficult paper. It says God's message is for everyone. Uh, God's message is for everyone, but it uh, concerns a lot of gospel. I'm too young to share it, but she'll share it with you guys. All Thank right. you for bringing us the message, Casper. Can I share it to them? Bye-bye. You see, this is the little booklet. It says God's message is for everyone. Now, before I'm going to show this little booklet to you, I want us to pray first, okay? So please close your eyes so we can pray together. Dear Father God, thank you so much that we can pray. Thank you that we can know you listen to us and that you appreciate every prayer we bring. And today I pray that, that we will pray just a prayer like a little child, an honest, open-hearted prayer, God. We pray that you will put the desire and the courage and the knowledge in our hearts to bring your love and your message to all the nations because what you've done for us, Jesus Christ, you've done for everybody living on this earth. Thank you that I can share this precious message this morning with all the children in the church. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, now it's exciting because I showed you the world map and you know the world map already because you're so super smart. Now, as you know, we live on that very tiny little island over there. We are such a small island, but our prayers can be so strong that it can reach the whole world because it's not us reaching the whole world, but it's God reaching the whole world. Isn't that exciting to be part of that? Anyways, so here is the message our messenger Casper bring to us, right? Brought to us. So in this little booklet, if I turn the first page, can you make out what it is? Those are people. So can you 
recognize who they are, what nation they are. Let me t turn the first page. Let's see. Can you make out who they are? They look like Indians, right? Is God's message for Indians? Absolutely. And this looks like Arabics, right? Is God's message for the Arabic people? Absolutely. Now I'm going to turn, turn my page again. Are you excited to see the new picture? Okay, let me do this. Let me take the, I'm going to take the bottom one first. Let's see if you can guess who are the new nation or the new people. Can you see who that is? This is one is easy to make out. This looks like the Netherlands, right? Okay, the second page. Oh, you're getting closer. Ah, uh, let me do the last one. Ta da! People from Africa. God's message is for the people for, of Africa. The people from the Netherlands. Okay, now my next one. My last one. Let's see. I'll turn the first page. So, so easy. Oh, so easy. That looks like Scottish and Asian. That's right. Isn't this just so pretty? A little book. And now, if we turn different pages... It's actually so funny how the picture comes out. Look at that. It looks so funny. It looks like this Scottish guy is having a dress on with no shoes. And this Asian girl has an apron on and long pants with some sandals. <laughs> it looks so cute, okay? Yes, God's message is for everyone. And in the Bible, in Acts, we read about that message. Um, God was talking to Peter. Now, Peter went to visit a very good friend, Simon. And while he was on the rooftop, on Simon's house on the rooftop, God told him that he will receive people that's going to come and ask him to go and tell the gospel message to a certain person. So we are going to read that story now. So let me see. Here it is. The Bible, the, 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 the Bible story we are going to read about is a summary of the story in Acts 10, verse 1 to 9, 17 to 48. But you can read the whole Acts 10. Actually, I want to challenge you. Go read the whole book of Acts. It's such a beautiful story to read. And it's not that hard to, to understand. It's really like a story, a real story that you like. You like to hear stories. And you can ask mommy and daddy to read it together with you. And they can learn what is um, written in Acts. And you can. And it's very beautiful. It's very exciting. It's a little scary. And it's actually a wonderful story to read. Now, before I'm going to read this, this um, summary of what's standing in Acts, I first want us to read the Bible verse. Everybody say Galatians 5 verse 13. Galatians 5 verse 13. It says, serve one another humbly in love. Can you see how I write love? Can you see? Yes. Serve one another humbly humbly in love good job galatians 5 verse 13. now here comes the story listen carefully peter i told you about peter right peter told many jewish people about jesus he thought god wanted him to tell only jews about jesus then Peter learned that God's message was for everyone, even if they were not Jews. Cornelius wasn't a Jew, but he loved God. Cornelius didn't know about Jesus. An angel told Cornelius a message. The angel said, isn't that exciting? An angel talking to Cornelius? Have Peter come tell you God's message about Jesus. Cornelius sent some men to get Peter. At that stage, remember I told you Peter was living with Simon? Mm -hmm. 
Peter was on the roof praying when God told him to go with the men Cornelius sent. Peter said to Cornelius and his family, God has shown me that his message is for everyone. Peter told Cornelius how Jesus lived, died, and came back to life to forgive people their sins. Cornelius and his family believed the good news about Jesus. And that's the gospel message. The gospel message is Jesus came to earth, God's only begotten Son, in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son to whomsoever believe in Him may have everlasting life. Jesus came to earth. Then He was crucified. After being crucified in three days, He raised and He got victory over our sin. You see, our sin is keeping us back. Our sin makes us feel angry and hateful and unforgiving and selfish and thinking we, we can and thinking of lies and we are so that, that puts us in a bondage of not a free life. Then Jesus came and he carried the consequences of our sin. He died for our sin. He, did the, he made the sacrifice for our sins. So the day when we believe in Jesus and we know he can forgive us our sins, we are free. We are free from sin. And we can be victorious over sin. We don't need to worry anymore to want to tell lies or to feel so angry we cannot forgive any so somebody or we are so angry we want to kill something. No, we are loving. We will grow in love. We will grow in forgiveness. We will grow in, in, in joy, in peace, in all those beautiful things that God intended for us to have in our life in him when, and that all those things that Jesus did for us that he is giving to us because we accept him to make us free all those things the Holy Spirit helps us to grow into so that we can glorify God isn't that just a wonderful message it's the best message ever and it's a message for everybody everybody in the world doesn't matter where they live, how old they are, or anything like that. It's for everybody. So I want to encourage you to go to your friends and to love them and to show them what God is in your life by giving, by sharing with your friends, by speaking and talking nice things to your friends and about your friends and about other people to your friends. To be there for your friends whenever they help you. In this lockdown, maybe you can call your friend or you can draw a special picture and send your friend a message and say, I love you because Jesus loves you. There are so many ways that we can still serve one another. We just have to think creative things, right? Okay, so that is our, that's the gospel message. And God showed Peter that the gospel message was not just for the Jews, but for everybody in the world that is just so wonderful now that brings me to the next thing i would like to do i would like to read a story to you now this story is about a lady that went to visit a few children and i love to be with children i just love to be with you guys because you are so happy and life is so beautiful so listen to this story i want to show you the picture as i am reading the story to you evan was excited it was fiesta day in sunday school Mr. and Mrs. Young had planned a special day to celebrate church friends in Mexico. Do you know where Mexico is? Yes, southern part of America, right? As Evan walked into the room, he saw the floor had 
brightly colored Mexican blankets to sit on. Cadian and Madison gave him a piece of folded green tissue paper and some scissors. We're making decorations, said Caden. Cut designs on the fold, then unfold your paper. Evan handed his cut paper to Mrs. Young, who put it on a ribbon. Can you see? There are the papers on the ribbon. Uh, I lost my place. <laughs> Soon, the ribbons with paper rectangles fill the room from corner to corner. Mrs. Young told the class that their papers were like a Mexican folk craft. Mr. Young introduced a visitor, Senorita Rosa Gomez, is one of our church friends from Mexico. She has a special surprise for us. Bono dias, said Rosa. Rosa. It looks like a fiesta. Senorita Rosa sat on a chair and opened her Bible. I am happy to see you, she told the class. You help our Sunday school class in Mexico. Evan wondered how they had helped. Your Sunday school sent us books and pictures so we could learn about Jesus, Senorita Rosa explained. Senorita Rosa gave each child a picture with a name on the back. These are children from our Sunday school in Mexico. Please pray for the children in the picture. That is another way you can share Jesus. Evan looked at his picture. The boy was smiling and holding a soccer ball. His name was Jose. Evan put the picture in a safe spot on the table. Senorita Rosa also gave each child a tortilla, spread butter and cinnamon sugar. As Evan ate his snack, he thought about what he had learned about sharing. Jesus and the church in Mexico. As Mr. Young prayed at the end of the fiesta, Evan added his own prayer for Jose. Now, as I said to you in the beginning of this video, is we can pray. Let me look at my notes so I can say the exact things that I told you. We can pray, pray, listen, and obey God. The message is for everybody. And we can tell everybody through loving them, through praying for them, and to tell them, you know, Jesus loves you. And then, who's Jesus? Let me tell you who Jesus is. Jesus is the Son of God. He came to earth and He died for us. But He also rose again from after three days. And He had victory for us over our sins. So if we believe on Jesus and if we believe He can save us, He will set us free from our sin. And the promise we have for that is everlasting life. We will forever live with God and with Jesus. Isn't that just so wonderful? And Holy Spirit will help us to say the right words, to support our friends as they need support. And Holy Spirit will help us to grow in God stronger and stronger. Okay, so that is our message for today. Now, as you can see, I draw a really big heart on the board. Let me put our message that we got on the board as well. I draw a really big heart on the board because in that heart, I want to draw somebody's picture. Now, let's see if you can guess who I am drawing. That is a boy or a man. That is a girl and that is, yes, another girl and this is another boy or a man. Can you guess who they are? 
I think you are very smart. Yes, of course, it's my family. It's my husband, my two daughters, and my son. So how can I serve them? As God says in Galatians 5, 13, serve one another humbly in love. How can I serve them? Do you know how I like to serve them? Yes, I love to cook for them. I just love cooking. So I love to make them special foods. Now, that's how I can serve them. How can I serve the church? The only way how I can think now is to pray for everybody, to reach out with messages to the people I know, to do some Sunday school videos. And sometimes we will go for a walk with some people and then I would give them a special snack or a little bit of food because somebody did that for me when we went for a walk. Pastor John and um, his wife Kirsty, they would make us some special food and they will send it with us to home and it was so nice to eat it. Of course, it will be nicer to share food together when we are together, right? But that's another way we can bless one another. And Pastor Tom is sending us videos every day to watch. It's so nice how we can reach out to each other. And I'm sure there are many stories to tell of how we reach out to everybody. And it's in this, these times where we are in a lockdown, where we have to pray for the country. We are so thankful for all the rain we got. And we can pray for one another and we can reach out to one another. And in that way, we feel how God brings so much joy and happiness to our hearts. Thank you for having this video with me. Let's say our Bible verse one more time. Galatians 5 verse 13, serve one another humbly in love. Love is so powerful when we are doing it in God, for God, to glorify His name. Let's pray together. Dear Father God, today was such an exciting message. What you've done, God, was such an amazing thing. And it's truly written into the history books. It truly happened. And we can't say it didn't happen. It really, really happened. And Jesus really came down. And he, he came and did some miracles. And he told us about you. And he showed your love to us. And then he died on the cross for us, for our sins, God. He carried all our sins on him. And he died, and after three days he rose again, so we can have eternal life in you when we believe in Jesus Christ. God, I pray that your Holy Spirit will come and soften our hearts and touch our hearts so that we will truly believe in you, Jesus, and that we will also spread the gospel message to everyone, where we work, where we play, where we go to school, um, in our church, our family members. Please make us courageous to spread your message in love and, and just gl to glorify your name. Thank you for what you've done for us. We love you so much. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, guys. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.